New AI systems will be able to extract out patterns from the world itself, from images and so forth. The end of the human race. And the most advanced models are going to use text and image and action. Something, some new technology, it will cause damage or death. Well, because they'll be able to model human action. And so, and all of that's going to come down the pipes within the next year. So hang on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen, because the giants are going to walk the earth once more. And we're going to live through that, maybe. When it comes down to OpenAI, we see how far the artificial intelligence has already come. In this video, we will cover the newest innovations surrounding ChatGPT and its biggest competitor, Google's Bard. OpenAI was founded in 2015 by a consortium of top tech influencers including Elon Musk and the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. They committed to investing $1 billion to create a non-profit organization aimed at advancing AI for the benefit of humanity. However, Elon Musk's association with OpenAI was short-lived. In 2018, he stepped down from the board of directors due to conflict interests, but promised to continue supporting the mission through financial contributions. This decision was driven by Tesla's focus on autonomous vehicle technology and competition for talent with OpenAI. Despite his initial involvement in OpenAI, Elon Musk has expressed concerns about the risks posed by AI. Think some new technology, it will cause damage or death. There will be an outcry. After taking control of Twitter, he temporarily suspended OpenAI's access to the social media platform database, which was being used for training purposes. He pointed out that OpenAI had evolved from a non-profit and an open source entity to a capped profit corporation that received a $1 billion investment from Microsoft in 2019. OpenAI's latest offering is the GPT 3.5 AI chatbot. Furthermore, GPT-4 is expected to be released soon. The company has also created an AI system, the DAL-E, capable of generating realistic images and artwork from text inputs. In late 2022, Google faced increased pressure with the arrival of OpenAI's ChatGPT software backed by Microsoft. This innovative software became a viral sensation due to its remarkable ability to pass business school exams. Although that's quite impressive, one of the school exams it passed was a former school attended by Trump, the Wharton Business School. So how difficult could that exam really be? Anyway, this caused Google to face intense competition in the market and adapt its strategies to maintain its position. Furthermore, Google's Bard, the new chatbot that made its debut on Twitter earlier this month, was asked a question about the James Webb Telescope. This telescope is the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built. Specifically, Bard was asked how one should explain this telescope discoveries to a nine-year-old. Bard's response was that the telescope was the first to capture an image of a planet outside our solar system. Unfortunately, this claim turned out to be incorrect, as astronomers on Twitter pointed out that the European Very Large Telescope had accomplished this back in 2004. Google is definitely facing some challenges lately. Last month, Google's parent company Alphabet announced a significant reduction in its global workforce, resulting in 12,000 job cuts, which accounts for approximately 6% of its employees. This month, Microsoft declared that the latest version of its Bing search engine, which has long been outpaced by Google, will incorporate the ChatGPT technology in an even more sophisticated manner. Altman, CEO of OpenAI, didn't give a clear confirmation that ChatGPT will be a multi-model, but he did suggest that it will be coming soon. Multimodel means the ability to function in multiple modes, such as texts, images, and sounds. For example, the potential of a multimodel platform could be to make presentations, clips, or even movies. Impressive! He believes that multimodel AI has the potential to create new and innovative business models, similar to how mobile platform changed 
and revolutionize the business world. Mobile platforms is basically those that allow software and services to be run on devices such as iPhone, Android and Blackberry. Altman compared multimodal AI to the mobile platform, highlighting how it opened doors for new ventures and job opportunities. He stated the following. I think this is going to be a massive trend, and very large businesses will get built with this as the interface, and more generally, that these very powerful models will be one of the genuine new technological platforms, which we haven't really had since the mobile. And there's always an explosion of new companies right after, so that'll be very cool. When looking back to today, historians may consider the 2020s as a turning point for artificial intelligence, thanks to the rise of machines capable of emulating human speech, creativity and logic. As a result, there are pressing questions about the impact of these developments on fields like employment, ethics and commerce. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it will take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded.